Whether driving in a funeral procession or near one, there are laws dictating what you need to do as a driver. 22 News reporter Mike Mascadrelli explains the rules of the road with funeral processions. If you're a driver, you've probably run into one before, a funeral procession. According to state law, they have the right of way at intersections and traffic lights with the exception of emergency vehicles. But that doesn't always happen. A couple people just, just came in, cut in. No, no means of uh, asking or even looking, seeing the flags. They're pretty bright as they too. The hearse is the lead vehicle in a funeral procession. It carries the body or cremated remains of the deceased person. You may not cross an intersection while a funeral procession is going through, even if you have a green light and they have a red. This is the St. Pierre Fana Funeral Home in Springfield. I spoke with the director on Thursday. He said whether you're driving in a funeral procession or close to one, you need to be patient and take it slow. You got a lot of city traffic, you got a lot of intersections, a lot of traffic lights, and people have to be cognizant of the fact of there's a funeral procession coming through. If you're driving in a funeral procession, keep your headlights and hazard lights on. Don't go faster than 55 miles per hour on the highway. Give a safe distance away from the car in front of you and avoid distractions. Fanu said the biggest reason for accidents with funeral processions is distracted driving. In Springfield, Mike Mascadrelli, 22 News.